Welcome, Collective. This is Renee, welcome back. Let's go ahead and take a deep dive into your love and relationships. We're going to take a look at what your person needs to say to you, what their hidden feelings are, where their connection is going, how they feel about your connection at the moment, and what you can do, okay? So we have playing games. This is a game to me. The way that I'm acting, responding, or posting is to get your attention. I feel like someone's trying to make you jealous. Someone's playing games with you because they want to see how you're going to react. They want to see how you're, how it's going to affect you mentally. You know, do you really care about them like you say you do? Um, but I feel like this person is playing games. What else do we have? Okay, attention to attention of others. See what I'm, what was I saying? You know, someone's addicted to the attention. Someone loves the way it makes them feel to have all this attention around them. You know, they're not really caring how you feel about the situation. They're just playing these games because they like attention. And I feel like they're trying very hard to make you jealous. They're trying very hard to get your attention. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is just like, an attention goat, you know? They may take extra care on their appearance, make sure that they're dressed very well. You know, they want that attention. I feel like they thrive on that. And I feel like it gives them that boost in their ego, right? They feel like they're untouchable when they have all the attention. Okay, we have my dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Okay. So it could be that this person is having very vivid dreams about you. Or you're having very vivid dreams about this person. Um, but I feel like you're, they're thinking about you an awful lot. But I feel like, you know, why are they playing games? Why are they trying to make you so jealous? Is that their um, flawed way of seeing how our relationship is supposed to go? You know? We have, will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Okay? I feel like this person wants to come clean about a situation. They want to talk to you. They want to express exactly how they feel. But they're very doubtful that you're going to listen to everything that they have to say. I feel like when they release their emotions, they like get down and dirty with it. They may not even realize what they're saying at the time. It just comes out the way it comes out. You know, and I feel like sometimes what this person has to say to you some kind, sometimes can be a bitter pill to swallow. And I feel like this person feels like you don't want to pay attention to them. You don't want to listen. That could be the reason why they're playing games, why they're trying to make you jealous, because they feel like that may be the only way that they see your true reaction. OK, we have you're so smart. Your intelligence really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. So I feel like this person really enjoys talking with you. They really enjoy the interaction that you give to them. They feel like, you know, you're very intelligent, but you're also really wild. Um, there's a side of you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun, you know, and I feel like this person wants to be able to see that side of you. They want to be able to see that playful, energetic side. And it could be that you're a little reserved because you don't know what this person's true intentions are. Okay. What else do we have?
you hurt me. Everything happened, excuse me, everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Okay. Hmm. It could be that this person is healing from some kind of past energies, some kind of past events, or it could be that, that a situation that you and this person were in were was very hurtful. But I feel like it was, if it was hurtful, it was hurtful on both sides. Because even if you were the one doing something wrong, I feel like it hurts you in the end as well. Right? Um, but I feel like, you know, this... These are feelings that are very raw and very intense. Okay, we have you're mysterious. I can never seem to figure out something. I feel like you're hiding something from me. Never really know where I stand with you. Okay, and I feel like that's the reason why this person is playing games. Because you may not be opening up to this person the way that they're trying to open up to you. You may be keeping a lot of things bottled up. A lot of things are left unsaid or unknown to this person. So you're being very mysterious, my beautiful collective. We have attached to my ex. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. So either you or this person are attached to someone from the past. Okay? Um, this energy could be flipped, so, you know, take it how it resonates in your situation. But there's one of you that's attached, attached to an ex, okay? So that could be the feelings for the reason why you're holding back, the reason why you're being very mysterious. It could be because you may know in the back of your mind that this person is dealing with more than just you that you know that this person is dealing with other people. So you feel very reserved when it comes to this person and very uh, blocked off, right? Give me another message. What else do we have? What else do we have, please? I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. So I feel like you have the ability to leave something behind. Okay. If it's this past hurt. This past ex. I feel like you're you're willing to leave the past behind. And start something new. You know. Um, I, I feel like you know. You've, hold, you've held on to this energy for far too long. And now you really feel the need to release it. Okay. So let's get some more energy. We're going to get two more cards. What else do we have? Okay, finding myself. Yeah, it was time. It was time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life. I need space. Okay, so that could be the reason why, you know, you're leaving something behind because you really want to figure out what you want out of life, where you want to go, how you want your real mate to look like, you know, so you could be leaving this situation behind, but I, I'm, I'm really getting a, a past energy that you're leaving behind that you're trying to heal from and work past. It could be this, this X energy trying to come in very strongly, um, but I feel like, you know, you're trying to figure out what you really want, where you really want to go, and what you want to do next. Okay? Do you really want to play these games that this person is playing with you, or do you want something different? Okay? Give me a message, Spirit. A final message. What does the collective need to know? Okay, Tears. When I think about you, I cry. Yes, so I feel like you have ghosted somebody or somebody has ghosted you. Either way, I feel like, you know, someone had disappeared and left you a little heartbroken. And I feel like you or this person is really thinking about the situation. Someone was left in tears, right? Someone was really feeling rejected. 
and didn't know which way to turn. They didn't know what to do next. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot. And then we'll get into another message. Give me a message for my beautiful collective. Give me a message for my beautiful collective. Okay, the hangman, deep in thought, trying to get a new perspective. The three of cups and the emperor. Okay, so my beautiful collective, I feel like you're tired of thinking about the situation. You're tired of looking things from a different point of view. So you're ready to get out and have fun. You're ready to just network and, you know, get out with your friends and enjoy yourself because you're, you're taking control of the situation. You're like, I'm not going to sit here and just wait for this person. I'm going to go and do me. So, and I feel like this energy is you doing you, you know, I hear it. Okay. What does my collective need to know? Give me a message. What does my collective need to know right now? What does my collective need to know, please? Okay. Messages from my beautiful collective. Okay, yeah, we have moving to the next level. Okay, we have, they are toxic. Okay, so someone that you're dealing with has this toxic energy, has this negative thinking, and you're like trying to push away from that. Okay, we have divinely guided towards you. So you could be moving to the next level with someone who has been, who had, you have been magnetically drawn to. Okay, this could be a twin flame energy, um, someone that was divined, divinely guided towards you, you know, someone that was meant for you. We also have have more fun, okay? So I feel like Spirit is letting you know that it's time to get out there and enjoy yourself. It's time to get out there and live life. We have I miss you so much. So the, the, there's definitely someone thinking about you, okay? And we have bring balance to the connection. So there's someone who's going to who's gonna bring you more balance, who's going to make you feel truly connected, truly um, someone who's going to give you exactly what you're giving. It's going to be, it's going to feel like reciprocity. You know, you're going to get that equal exchange. We have you're amazing inside and out. Okay. We have moving in. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to be moving in with someone. You're going to be um, moving in with someone new, moving in with that beautiful person. And um, you're going to be leaving everything behind, right? I feel like for some of you, you're leaving something behind in order to move in with this person. Okay, it could be an old connection, past memories. Uh, leaving the past behind, leaving a person behind to move in with someone else, okay? And we also have watching you. So I feel like there's someone watching you from a distance. There's someone who's kind of stalking your social media. They're trying to see what you're doing. Um, they're keeping tabs on you because that may be the only way that they're able to keep tabs on you, right? We have, I'm working on myself. Yeah, breaking generational curses. Okay, so I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You may be breaking generational curses. It could be that you grew up with parents or a parent who was very unstable, who, you know, had people come in and out of your life and you're like ready to move away from that, that energy. You're ready to break that curse and find that stability. Okay, at first it upset me, but now I know it's for the best, right? And we have forgiveness. Wow. Deep message, spirit. Deep, deep message. Okay, so, yeah, I love it. You deserve so much better. Okay, 
So my beautiful collective, let's go ahead and pull your angel number. Let's pull your angel number. Vision. Your path will not look identical to anyone else's. That is what makes you unique. Remember that as you stay on the path that feels connected, the path will continue to lead you to alignment. Let your vision be as different as you are. Your affirmation, my beautiful collective, my path is mine and mine alone. When I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay, so that is your um, angel number and your affirmation. I'm going to go ahead and pull your fortune oracle too. See what's in store for my beautiful collective. What's in store for my beautiful collective? Okay, we have a plane. You could be going on a journey. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what the plane means. We'll get an extended message for the plane. Number 26. Number 8, Abundance. Okay. So travel is indicated. You may have felt stuck in your career, your life, or choices, or, or in a bad relationship. Whatever it is, there have been feelings of, want, of wanting to escape. Negative feelings no longer serve you. It's time to accept what you must do to make your life fuller. Take back control of your life and where you want it to head. There is a personal evolution taking place as this card also represents another level of knowledge, a change in priorities, creative exploration, and new adventures. Uh, you also may be going on a, motor, on a motorcycle ride. Yeah, that was a motorcycle that just passed by. Okay, so a motorcycle may be very significant. A change in priorities, creative exploration, and new adventures are likely, especially in the area of self-discovery. What seemed important to you before may no longer be on the bucket list as you have grown as a person. Sometimes the card can represent fear of travel or change, but the card suggests solutions can be coming. Remember, you are in a complex in, in complete control of your situation. Okay, as far as relationships, travel will bring love for singles and chance meetings will indicate feelings that you may not have experienced in a very long time. Try different holiday destinations and be inspired. Cruises are very auspicious for meeting that special someone family travel goes particularly well and is filled with fun and laughter great friends and lifelong happy memories are being married are being made okay for money a new job is likely in a course of study is also on the cards you will finally find direction and un uncover your purpose in life it is best to go moving quickly though Action is needed as good times await. The plane card also indicates that it is not time to sit on the fence. Get things moving quickly. Okay? The, your power tip. Write in a journal or on a piece of paper one thing you are grateful for every day for the next eight days. Keep your resume in a red folder and create a new email address with an eight in it okay okay so that that is your uh fortune oracle okay my beautiful collective if this reading resonates please like and subscribe okay and until your next reading many blessings to you love and light